What's going on, guys? It's been a while, and um, I figured I'd try a little, something a little different this time. I've got one of my uh, training skates from last Thursday, which would be August 8th. It was a pretty good skate. Big backstory to it is that I've been struggling a lot since getting back on the ice uh, a week prior. I don't know, kind of got to the realization that I'm not really enjoying playing hockey anymore. Um, it just kind of hit me like a wall all of a sudden. So I kind of went out to this skate like, okay, I'm either gonna call it quits <laughs> after this skate, or I'm gonna build up some self-confidence and take it from there. And I'm not like being dramatic with some clickbaity bullshit title. Like, I'm quitting hockey, this is... No, I'm, I, I was seriously like having a kind of self-reflective look and just thinking, you know, why bother doing something that I don't enjoy doing anymore. So, um, that being said, it was a pretty good skate um, all together, and um, let's let's go through it together, shall we? Let's do something a little little spicy. Gotta do my little hops, little bunny hops. That was first shot of the game. Nothing too crazy, but then um, D-man loses the puck, rebound comes straight at me, and then another chance right in front. Had to drop my stick to get there in time. Um, and then another save there with the stick and just controlled chaos for the first uh, 10 seconds. Um, so yeah, but it kind of made me feel like, oh, yeah, that, that was a nice one. Um, honestly, starting, starting a skate like that made me feel like, okay, I'm in the zone tonight. Maybe I can build some confidence. That, that was actually my own D-man that just turned around and fired a shot right on that. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I kept my eye on him for, for the rest of the skate for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh yeah, and that was such a garbage goal, honestly. Like, <laughs> he kind of flubbed the shot. I didn't see the pass go all the way across, and... I, I had it covered and then it just somehow went off the post and then trickled in off the post. Like, come on. Like, if it was on net, it would have been a save. But the fact that he hit the post is what helped the puck go in. Um, yeah, I was not happy about that. A little slide happy there. But it's all good. Recovered in time. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I've definitely been having a problem with my, um, I mean, my five hole has pretty much been wide open ever since I went into the genetics, and, um, you know, it's the, the break of the pads, it just does not, just does not suit me mechanically with how my body is physically limited to move, so, you know, definitely we'll go for softer pads next time, but hey, it's, freaking CCM sucks, like, what am I supposed to do? I wasn't gonna get a, get an E-flex, it's terrible. That's a save. I, I, I thought that went in at first, but um, I just just stayed there. Sometimes it's just better not to move. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he was looking for that top cheese. Nope. Glove out, active hands. Got just a piece of it there. Yeah, there's this bad... Um, Bad stick positioning there again. That's a problem I've been having as well. Is that when I start moving laterally, my blocker hand just flies all the way out to the middle of nowhere. I don't know why. Somehow I tracked that through the screen. It was, it was a nice glove save. And that one went off my buddy in front. Nothing I can do about that. He knows it. I know it. But I did kind of give him props for being the only guy coming back. Playing D, he's not usually playing D, so. Oh yeah. I don't know why more goalies don't do this. I love uh, catching those backhand shots when they're trying to center passes um, on the glove side of the RBH. Like it's just you're just removing uh, a scoring chance right away. No, no problem, and then it's a face-off too. So, I don't know. More goalies need to start doing this shit. It's, it's just it makes it so much simpler. And also, like when a player is trying to center the puck, obviously you're gonna have your your stick um, in the in the passing lane. So that's gonna be an obstacle for them to get the puck across. But then if you got your glove 
doing the same thing above the ice. Man, there's like there's nowhere else for them to go with that pass. Even if they sauce it, like it's gonna, they're going to be saucing it way too high. So, and the fact that they're used to saucing it over a goalie stick, they're going to put it right in your glove every time if you just leave it there. So, let's try it. Should probably do a video about that because honestly, I've got like so many clips of those saves, and I love kind of seeing the reactions of players seeing that kind of save for the first time because I I don't see other goalies doing it. Oh, that was... Yeah, I had to give my D-man props there. He, he saved that. He saved the possible goal with his skate there. Nice block. Yeah, no. Nothing for your blocker side, buddy. Nothing. Yeah, so the, it's a bit of a scramble here, but um, my pad over-rotated, and then when I tried to recover, it kind of slipped out underneath me, so... It looks pretty bad, but it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I don't know. It's it's like I had wax paper underneath me. Um, that's the thing with these pads that I haven't really, I haven't really found that perfect setting with the, the Velcro straps because if I go too tight, then the rotation is not as quick. It's not as fluid, and I feel like my, my movement's not as good because the pad doesn't really extend, if that makes sense. And then if... If it's loose, then my mobility is better, my, my movement, my technique is more consistent, but then this happens sometimes where the pad will over-rotate, um, especially on, like, basically in, in these situations alone, um, these scrambles, so. And of course, my edge protects come out all the time. Um, I, they pretty much come out almost, like, at least once a skate. It's pretty annoying. Um, I don't know. I gotta figure out some way to secure them better. Yeah. A little sloppy, but mid save. Good tracking through the screen. Um, just kind of hoped I was gonna get it in the right spot. This is a little breakaway. Yeah, I think he just ran out of space there. I wasn't sure what he was even trying to do there. Bit of a scramble, but... He's trying to stay square to the puck. Sometimes that's all it takes. Good stick lift. Great stick lift, my buddy. Yeah, I had to make sure I give him props there. Thank you, Demon. And then, <laughs> and then he immediately gave it away on the next play. <laughs> See him doing push-ups around a lot. Uh, I love you, Camillo. Great guy. Nope. 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 Nothing. 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 Give him absolutely nothing. Ah, man. Yeah, it's a good save, but again, um, five hole opening up on those lateral pushes, not good. So, I mean, in today's skate, I was being trying to be really mindful of that, so um, I still have to look at the footage of today and see if that, it actually made a difference. Hopefully it did. That was a bad rebound, but good recovery. Just use the stick, get that puck as far away from me as possible if you can't catch it. Another backhand glove save. No biggie. That was a good shot. He thought he had a little daylight there, but uh, just brushed the shoulder and off the post. And out. <sighs> I don't... I don't know what happened here. I think there was a combination of... I was just lost in my thoughts, I think. I just lost my focus for a second, and then just... Shot came from the blue line, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, that's... That's the problem with Shinny, is that I'm not, like... It's... It's hard to get... Into a zone... In Shinny. Like... It's not a real game. There's nothing on the line. So my, my mind wanders sometimes, I don't know. Uh, I'm like a gerbil.
Gotta love those when the freaking puck bounces perfectly out off the glass behind you. This time it didn't land on their stick, so it's better than most times. Uh, that was such a garbage goal. It's just it was such a flutter shot. Like I'm, I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of, I'm following the pass, and I'm and I know there's a guy. Um, he's gonna get the puck on a stick, and he's gonna fire it. But and then you get that kind of shot. It just trickled and went. I think it just kind of like dipped and then went under my blocker. Um, I was just telling this guy what a shitty shot that was. Yeah, here. Let me bat the puck away in peace. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, they were trying me glove. On the glove all night. And Walker. Yeah. Yeah, bit of a broken play. Scramble. Playing in the snow. Something I don't do very often is a regular VH. Um, that was a really satisfying save, though. Just wired it right off the pad. Anyway, that's the end of the skate. Uh, yeah, I was just telling my friend here, uh, maybe I'm not going to quit yet. Because <laughs> I was kind of... Uh, I was pretty depressed before the skate, and I was still talking to him. I was like, I, I don't think I want to play anymore. Um, but he's a good guy. We kind of, kind of helped me, uh, talk me off the ledge a little bit. And um, you know, I was just kind of telling him, like, you know, it's not that I'm. I mean, he's telling me don't take it too seriously, but it's like, it's not that I'm taking it seriously per se. Like, I want to have fun, and for me, fun is winning, and playing at a high level, and getting better every year. And not being limited physically or mentally, and um, and it's just like you know when you've got more to give, like that's what he was basically telling me. When you've got more to give, and you can't give it, that's what hurts. Yeah, yeah. No, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little um, game analysis. Um, I think this is something that I said that I would do when I first started the channel um, and I did it for like one video from a game from like 2018 um, and um, yeah I mean I guess that's why I had the, um, the mic inside my mask was that I could talk during the games but then again I'm so focused on the games that I would end up not really talking much I like I don't talk very much to begin with when I'm playing hockey um, outside of hockey, completely different story. But like when it comes to hockey, I'm just like, I'm, I'm a completely different person. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, very quiet. I keep to myself. And um, well, my Insta mic died um, a few months ago. That's why I haven't really been able to record any um, audio in any of my games since then. Um, and um, I'm also gonna. I would just say like nobody should ever buy the Insta mic. Um, don't ever, ever, ever buy that microphone. I know I said it was great and I was using it, um, but that all changed when it died and then I couldn't get any support from the company. They basically just stopped responding to my tickets and that company was basically run by one person. So um, really crappy customer service. I would not recommend anyone ever buy an Insta mic for any purpose whatsoever. Um, this is some cheap lav mic that I got, um, online, um, and, uh, I just figured I would try it out with this kind of, like, off-ice hockey analysis video, and uh, I can use it for other stuff in the future as well, so I'll, I'll make more videos like this, um, you know, time willing, but, um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, um, I've got a lot more coming, I've got a, a, lots of old footage and just random stuff that I kind of want to give context to with this little guy, and, um, I think it'll be a better video than just straight up highlights, um, which not a lot of people are watching anyway, so maybe, maybe you'll like this more, alright, uh, anyway, yeah. 
catch you, uh, catch you, catch you next time like a puck. Peace out.